Zale 52 past 3 o'clock. We're still logged on to the 3FM Drive. My name is Giovanni Caleb, and we're just about to dive into a conversation around education or higher learning, you understand? And the many opportunities that are bound for young people who are just listening to us right now. See, this be the hack. I've had guests on this show for uh, almost, what, what, nearly seven, six years now, who believe that one of the fastest ways to make good use of your brain, your head, is when... <laughs> <laughs> and of course, to help develop your motherland is when you take advantage of the many opportunities for education, travel out, build yourself, get some knowledge, come back. And that's when we know that, ah, you did form you. Only my dear, was she and dear, what cost coupon? What cost coupon? And that's how they describe it. But when you go to school and they can see the school in you, you are not even solving any problem around. You are part of the problem. In fact, you want to be solved yourself. Then there becomes a challenge. <laughs> it becomes a major, major challenge to the society you now you belong to. You understand? Well, um, I'm having a conversation with two folks. One I'm very familiar with because we both grew up together. Uh, I don't know why he's still not playing basketball like the dad. <laughs> the dad is a legend. Yeah, a huge legend. Uh, we used to hang around in our small village. Uh, we were in, I think I was a year ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were in primary school together down to, I think, senior high school. Yeah. Wow. High school. Wow. 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 And uh, the other, who you'll be hearing more, She's been part of our system here, knows how things work around here in Ghana and the many opportunities the UK presents to Ghanaian students. And she's like, you know what? Let me come back to Africa here. Let me come back to Ghana and share this gold with you, this gold with you. And says, Giovanni, there is a career and networking event uh, targeting Ghanaian talents for the UK markets. So it's an opportunity for a lot of people to listen up I know the weekend is here. You just want to let your hair down, listen to music. Hey, but what will you eat from Monday going? Eh? Eh? Life continues after the weekend. So this is something, a conversation I'm sure you want to listen to. Welcome, uh, Miss Emma Tarant Tayo. I hope I got it right. You did, yes. Thank you. Absolutely. She's the director for Graduate Guidance Group at the G3 Africa. Is that it? And uh, also, I've got Cherubi Maoli Amanyedo here. He is a Lum uh, Lumina UK ambassador. Is that it? Yep, yep, for Sub Saharan Africa. Big one, big portfolio. My brother, <laughs> I didn't even know this. <laughs> He's, I knew him as a marketer, serious marketer. I didn't know he had all these things going on. Wow, we need a lot of catching up to do. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, let me welcome you, Emma. Uh, and also, first off, before you even tell us about the uh, career and networking events happening, is it the first time in, in Ghana? This is not my first time in Ghana, no. I've been here for over a decade. Actually. Over a decade. And but how about the event itself? This is not the first? This Let's is the second edition of this event in Ghana. All right. How did the first go? The first went very well. Mm -hmm. um, the, the first held in June of last year. Okay. So that was 2023. So for 2024, um, we've scheduled it for Saturday, the 12th of October. Saturday. Next Saturday. That's right. So not tomorrow. Mm. The next Saturday. So everybody that's listening has got a week to, to get right. them their, their schedules in August. That's right. Tell us about uh, the institution you belong to, the one you are the director of, uh, the G3 Africa. Yeah, group. so is G3 that... Africa is kind of short for Graduate Guidance Group. What we like to do is to connect people and opportunities. Mm. So one of the big things that we do is connecting um, prospective students with UK universities. So if you're wow. looking to study in the UK, we guide you through the admissions process, the visa process, um, settling in mm. but we also don't want to stop there we don't want to stop with just okay you've got an admission that's it like let's move on to the next we want to keep in touch with you mm. and then also look at how do we connect you with other people that have gone through that same process oh. they might be a step ahead of you they might be at the same level as you mm. and then also how do we connect you with um, experts in different sectors mm. with employer organizations mm. and so that's something that um, it's an extension of of the career services that UK universities are really well known for, nice. but have not necessarily catered to the the group of African students in particular mm. who, you know, feel very strongly that home is home. This is where I want to succeed that's and right. this is where I want to, to be a big fish. Mm. Yeah. All right. So uh, I think, Maoli, that's where you come in. Uh, I, want to, I want us to throw back to your first <laughs> day <laughs> in the UK for school. 
And as someone who's been through the system, uh, like Emma mentioned, uh, their platform connects you to those who have walked the same path with you, those who had aspirations, dreams, and all that. You finding yourself in a new environment, how to handle the cultural shock and the many other things that come in, how to manage even your expectations. Because yeah. a lot of people, once they get to school, the next day your family is asking you for money. Yeah. They're asking you, hey, uh, my, my child is abroad. Uh, bring me money. No, how you even settle in and protect your mental health. You've been there. Yeah. How was it like you, <laughs> like for you in the early days? I think, if I look back, the fair, very fair day felt I remember what I remember the most was I think I missed I slept on a flight and missed my food I was really hungry <laughs> so I think when I landed uh, the city I landed in particularly Aberdeen was so cold mm -hmm. so I was so hungry Stop and that. I felt this fresh wave mm -hmm. of coldness mm -hmm. that I'd never seen before quite unfortunately it was also during COVID oh. so you had to quarantine for I think 14 days uh, so yeah, my first day was not the best experience, but I think it also taught me uh, uh, and also helped me to be able to live by myself, which I think I've done a bit of yeah. when I was here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think that experience also makes you learn to live by yourself, to That's be right. resilient, you know. And then I think the next day or so, mm. I started making friends on my lane. And because of social distancing, mm -hmm. you couldn't get closer to people. Yeah, everything you know? was more of a Yeah, so we had people on, I think, each of the, uh, what we call in Ghana, corridor. Mm. And mm. everyone was talking to each other. It was fun. I think mm. that was the beginning of uh, mm. an international network for mm -hmm. me in a very easy way where you don't have to force yourself because you're all part of a shared experience through school. Wow. Yeah, all in all, it's been a very great experience. I think it's really helped me in my career. How did you connect with the Graduate Guidance Group? Okay, so in my role as uh, the ambassador for Alumni UK mm -hmm. um, in West and Central Africa, okay. I promote all things that advance the interests of UK students, including prospective and those who have come back. Okay. I think what uh, we are doing here at the Ghanaian Talent Ghanaian Talent UK Educated, mm -hmm. it's more unique because then it also helps us in Ghana here to be able to bring, to, co to connect people who have gone to the UK and have come back mm -hmm. and also even network among themselves okay. and also serve as a basis of mentoring for those who are about to leave. Mm. So when you come for the event, the UK Educated Ghanaian Talent event, mm -hmm. you're able to meet people like myself or as myself and other people who have also gone on this journey. Mm. They'll be able to share perspectives with, with you better. Mm. Schools are coming there. Mm -hmm. About how many schools, Emma? Uh, we're expecting eight universities. To eight be eight universities. Yeah. So, mm. in my own experience, I, I went to the UK by myself in a, in a sense that I did the research by myself. It yeah. took me years. Yeah. So, in a Can day, imagine. you could just walk to each booth, get all your questions answered, get things from the right perspective. That's you right. know, you know, and, we live a lot in a, in, a, in a day where a lot of people are relying on middlemen. Yes. And these people are, are defrauding you left, right, center. And some of them are like, hey, you have this money, you want to go to the UK for school? Okay, let me chop some. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be Not that lady. All. So uh, we're bringing all these top institutions to one location for your sake. And we're doing Accra and Kumasi. So there's an opportunity for you to just uh, show up on uh, the 12th, right? Yeah. Accra is on the 12th. Yeah, so Accra is Saturday the 12th of October Back at Kuma the British Council. Okay. And then Kumasi is on Tuesday the 8th of October. Oh, so Kumasi before? Kumasi before, okay. yes. Yes. All right. Uh, do I get to pay anything to be part of this? So there is no entry fee. Mm. If you're interested, you're motivated, then come along. Um, for anybody that is coming, if you're a UK alumni, mm. re you know, come ready to both share your experience, but also come with your CV. That's right. You know, come ready Just to kind prepared. of put your, your, yeah. your best foot forward. Mm. We're also doing free headshots for everybody that comes to that car event. So mm -hmm. come dressed to impress That's as well. Right. You know, take, take, take away a professional headshot that you can wow. use to up update your profile as well and then for those that are prospective students mm. be ready to come with at least soft copies of you know your high school certificate mm -hmm. your university transcripts mm -hmm. so Sorry, that let you me, can me, get me, instant me, feedback from let me write you down let me i'm very yes. slow on fridays <laughs> <laughs> let me write <laughs> emma <laughs> let me write it down so what are some of the things you want me to bring along on uh, saturday the 12th of october british council so if i know I'm, british council british council, there was anyone we know uh, yes. guys don't go to the any embassy <laughs> They say British Council. Getting the location is also part part of the assessment. So venue, 
British. That's right. So Saturday the 12th of October, 12th British Council in Accra. You. Accra. And then you're going to come from 10 a.m. 10 And the universities will be there until 5 p.m. Okay. So come with your high school certificate. So, sorry, let me, write, let me write that. High school, high school certificate. Certificate. No matter come how old. Come with your mm -hmm. university transcript. No matter how old. That's right. Yes. That's right. University transcript. If you have it your university certificate. It could be HND diploma, whatever you yes. have, the certificate. Sorry, sorry, have. sorry, I'm writing. HND <laughs> diploma. <laughs> Degree. Degree, yes. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Even those with a first yeah. master's, why not? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Master's. You know. okay. So, whatever level you're at, mm -hmm. whatever documents you have, mm -hmm. you don't need to bring the originals. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. You, you, you can make copies or have the soft, soft copies available. Make mm -hmm. sure your phone is charged. That's right. You know, That's right. um, there'll be QR codes to scan so that you can, you know, fill out the, mm. the relevant forms. Mm. But come with all of that information so that when you're speaking to the university representative, they can actually give you instant feedback and okay. say, okay, based on your background, yeah. mm. have you considered this course? Mm. Scan this QR code. On our website, you'll be able to see information about, you know, our exact admissions policy. You'll be able to find out about our internal scholarships that mm. we have available for Ghanaian students. Mm. Um, scan this. You'll also be able to hear about the UK government scholarship as well, mm. um, which is currently open for um, applications. That's for master's students. Oh, so wow. achieving scholarships, the Commonwealth scholarships. That, that's what you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I use this for application oh, okay. at the moment. Yeah. Mm. So. Mauli, you're, you're, you're achieving scholar and, yeah. you know, it's, it's still open actually. People can apply. I think it's, um, it ends next month. So oh, yes, okay. it's open. It's a full I hear thing. a lot of people apply. Yes, every year it's quite and they, Yeah, very competitive as well. Okay, nice. I've got a question here. Giovanni, please, did I hear Emma say they would uh, assist you with a visa? That's right. So if you My have... My brother, is that all you had? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes, please. So we assist with the student visa. You okay? assist with yeah, the student visa. With the student visa. visa. Okay. So mm. once you have your admissions, mm -hmm. you've met all the criteria that the university has set for you. Right. Some universities will ask you to pay a deposit. Okay. You know, make sure that you've got everything that's ready. Mm -hmm. I think if you're going to travel, make sure you travel, you know, within set boundaries. Make sure that you have the correct documents. Well informed so, as well. Ask exactly. questions. I mean, that's, that's right. one of the best things, best gifts you can give yourself. Ask all the questions now. Correct. And you know, when you miss an opportunity like this, what you would have to do is hope your emails are replied on time. Uh, so we are trying to cut. We are going back to old school, eh? in person, face to face interaction. Uh, I know a lot of people who, out of lack of information, they find themselves on the wrong path. And uh, these are people who have been through the same process. And some of them have, are back here, are working in various fields. It will be nice for you to connect with them and ask all these relevant questions around uh, finding that perfect school for yourself based on your qualification in the UK and life beyond that. Uh, I hear you. Be, you're, you're doing this in Kenya, Nigeria as well? Or you've done this in Kenya, Nigeria as well? That's right. So okay. we recently held the first edition in, in Nairobi for oh. Kenyan talent. That's right. Um, and we started out in Nigeria. So the very first edition was, was in Nigeria. Mm. So um, once we're done in Accra on the 12th, mm. we'll be moving over to, to Lagos and we'll have the Nigerian talent edition in Lagos on the 19th of October. Wonderful. And uh, is there a number we can call an email address uh, do we need to reserve make a reservation before we come even though it's open yes please so we'd like we'd like you to fill out the registration form so okay. that's bit.ly forward slash ghuk talent 24 sorry can or, we take that again slowly or the easiest thing to do is to visit our, our instagram page uh -huh. at g3 africa g when you get there you'll see the link africa Car. That's right. Okay. Very simple. Mm. And then I can also give you a phone number. All right. So that's 0531. Zero have, five three yes. one. Zero five three one. Six seven three. Six seven three. Nine two five. Nine two five. Zero five three one. Six seven three nine two five. That's right. Uh, you can also send info at g3africa.com. Correct. G three, the number three. Don't go and spell through you. Hey, <laughs> hey, don't spell the whole through you. Yo, Alecho, eh? g3africa.com. Exactly. g3africa.com for all this. And uh, of course, this event is made possible through the support of uh, the partner, 
That's the UK partner universities. That's right. And also the British Council. That's and right. And all your other uh, partners. I'm, I'm sure your office, the alumni office as well. How, how, how many are you? I think broadly by numbers, mm -hmm. I'm not able to mention, but um, what I know is that uh, Ghana is one of the top three from Africa. I think Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya. Wow. We actually supply good talent. You know, we, Ghana, we have real talent yeah. here. Yeah, I think. Yeah. It's, it's just, just a lot of them don't want to come back home. We do not have in yeah. the measures. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of them, they don't want to come back home. Oh. So this one, please, oh, please come back home and develop the country. Yes, yes. Please, oh, yes, come yes. back home and develop that. With all that knowledge, we need it to develop our motherland too. So please, very, very crucial. Uh, but yes, the Graduate Guidance Group uh, it's an educational consultancy working uh, primarily with the UK higher institutions or education institutions to connect students from African continents with career and education opportunities. So that's what the G3 Africa is about. And that's what they are doing at their careers and network events or networking events. And we are hoping that you will show up on the 12th of October from 10 a.m. to late 6 p.m. So the um, education and exhibition, mm. um, education exhibition careers fair is until 5 p.m. Until 5 p.m. Yeah. So now, 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. Yes. Now okay. from 5 to 8 p.m. is for Maoli's people. So strictly alumni. UK oh, okay. alumni. We have a reception just for UK alumni. So oh. if you're newly back in Ghana, if mm -hmm. you've been back for a long time, mm -hmm. once you've studied in the UK, That's you right. also have a special ticket to the evening networking reception. Mm. And so to RSVP, it's the same form um, and you'll be able to indicate that you're an alumni and you want to come in the evening so we I look forward to seeing as many of our UK alumni as well present okay got two more evening. questions for you no I've got two more questions for you Emma miss Emma uh, Giovanni did I hear a CV review to be done on the grounds you're doing that on the grounds that's right, they, yes. yes. So if you print out your CV, come mm -hmm. with your CV. Mm -hmm. um, you can also um, print out your LinkedIn page or, okay. you know, have your have your LinkedIn profile ready. Mm -hmm. And we'll look at it and we'll give you advice on what, right. what you might need to change, what you might need to, to improve on. All as right. Well, so in addition to the professional headshots that's right. and yes. uh, personal development advice, you have all that. And uh, another one here says, Giovanni, uh, how about HR? Are they also hiring for jobs? So we've invited um, employers to come to this event. So some of the employers are actively hiring. Some what? of them will Say it again. Actually... Please say it again. There are people who are driving. When they hear jobs, they increase radio volume. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know us. It's a Friday. But the life continues That's after the right. weekend. Yes. Yeah. So... So, so we've also invited employers to come mm -hmm. to this event so that they can answer your questions about, you know, what are the typical roles that they're hiring for, um, what are they looking out for, what are the skills that they need, sure. and yes, so, so, some of those organisations are actively hiring. So, if you are a graduate, whether it's a, a Ghanaian institution or a UK institution, you know, like I said, come dressed to impress, ready to, to put your best foot forward and, and find out more. There might be an opportunity that is open to you now, right. or they might tell you about an opportunity that they say, look, you know, if you go away and do your master's in this, mm. you know that you're going to be highly sought after because our organization is looking out for that wow. right now. Wow. Yeah. That's, this is gold. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Miss Emma Tarantayo. Uh, director of Graduates uh, Guidance Group, or G3 Africa. Uh, and uh, also to my brother, Jeremy Maoli, I'm on your door, um, UK Alumni Ambassador for Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, thank you so much. Before I let you go, your final, your concluding, uh, closing remarks, anything? Anything I'll be missing if I don't show up uh, on the 12th of October? I think, like you said, and any opportunity to meet with people face to face mm. is when you'll learn something that you might not find anywhere else. You know, right. so see, seize every opportunity and and show up. So uh, we look forward to seeing you there. That's right. Yeah. I would say, in the end, we regret the chances we never took. Mm -hmm. If you have the ambition to study in the UK, to play big, to play go global, I think it's a good place for you to start from. Just come and ask. That's right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Quick break. One return. And there is more on the 3FM Drive. Please make sure you follow their handles on social media. So at G3 Africa. Mm. All the info is on there. And for yourself? Uh, this is for the British Council. Okay. So British Council Ghana. Uh -huh. Just follow through. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, lady and gentlemen. Reliable. Check. Comfort. Check. Strong. Check. Tough. Check.